Welcome back my friends, it is time to begin chapter 5, Ascension. A very quick recap, we're currently, well, the screen is from Odessa, but uh, in the story we're currently on Iokat, a brand new world about to be described in more detail in the future chapter. There is a very deep relation between this robotic, um, how should I say that in English, uh, artificially created world, it's not a natural planet, the whole Iokat was actually constructed, and if you check out the lore objects that I've discovered, five of them, in a bonus quest attached to the main mission, you will learn more details. Now in the next chapter 5, we're going to learn more about this special strange creature called Eris, and about Scorpio as well, of course. A very quick recap, just in case. You're stranded on Iokath, the mysterious alien world that gave birth to Scorpio, the Gravestone and the Eternal Fleet. The planetary overseer, Iris, is now trying to exterminate you. You've discovered another Technolith in the deep uh, necropolis of Iokath. Activate it and learn whatever secrets you can. Good suggestion, I say. Controls Iocat? But he's an idiot. Do not be deceived. Ares is immensely powerful. Everything that happens to us is his design. To me, he's a machine to dismantle, just like you. Without my help, you will never defeat him. He spent millennia consolidating power. Ares was the only self aware weapon to remain on Iocat after our creators died. The other droids are merely his slaves. He rendered us insensate, arranged us like game pieces on this world, and pitted us against each other. But he must have a weakness. Thank you for your participation. My examination is now complete. I intended to see if any among you were worthy of inheriting Iokath. You failed. I'm claiming Iokath and everything on it. You can't stop me. Your statement is incorrect. That honestly doesn't make much sense, man. The title says there will be a walkthrough of the story. How exactly do you expect me not to have spoilers from it? Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't lag right now. Please don't do that. Be a good game. Probe. Record. Dispose. Probe. Record. Dispose. Shut down. Rude. I refuse to die here. Find an exit, or I'll make one myself using you as a battering ram. I'm not Quinn. I don't need threats for motivation. Here, tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. underestimate your enemies. They are survivors. I command legions. Numbers are irrelevant. Your logic circuits are corrupted, and you passed that corruption to the Geminis. They are as much a threat to Iokath as you. I will recycle your components into something more useful. There 
has been an error. Yes. Yours. I escaped while you were distracted. But I promise we will meet again. Soon. This leads back to the gang. Good work, Vet. You've earned your continued survival. I used to do this for money. Now it's for compliments like that. After you. Well, it's time to escape. A couple of quick answers to uh, you guys from the chat. Uh, would I romance Valin? If I tell you the answer, I would spoil. I would give you a huge unbelievable spoiler about the end of the story so i can't answer that right now um five megabits per second is uh, for my standards and the for the standards authorized. here an average download speed whether you're downloading uh, the game currently quick or not it depends first on your internet connection second on the server stability bioware server stability and third which is also very important it depends what stage of the download you're currently detected. monitoring you might be downloading small files and if you're downloading smaller files uh, you can't have high speed because it has to actually stop and resume downloading for each separate file that's why maybe you're seeing slow speed but it's not actually slow Stay here. Hey, vet. Be a good girl. Do some healing, please. Thank you. All better. And stop bugging. Let's kill it, the one. You might think I don't really need to kill all of them, but I actually do. We will be looking for something right here in just a moment. I would not play as a Gungan, no. I would love to play as a Jawa or a Yoda species, but not as a Gungan. <laughs> All right, now everything seems to be cleared. Locate power cells, let's see. First one. That spawns a droid, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. This droid's uh, droid special ability, the AOE field, is actually interruptible. That's one. Oh, let's see, second one was uh, here somewhere. These lights gotta get their power from somewhere. Yet again, Vet is just coming around and not doing anything to help. Come on, Vet. That light is just in front of you. Pick it up. I don't remember where the third one is, unfortunately. But let's look around. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Maybe something in this panel. I don't have an opinion on the Shea, on the Shea Visual Company, and I don't care much for her. I don't care for the Walker Mound that we have received. I will probably never use them. But it's nice that we do get some rewards. The fact that I don't care about them doesn't mean that they're bad. I'm sure many of you guys are going to enjoy them. Especially the mount. I've never been a huge fan of Shay, I don't know why. Maybe because I'm not the biggest fan of Mandalorians overall. If I was a bounty hunter main player, I would probably love Mandalorians and, and so on. And those two are actually connected, I suppose. Love the bounty hunter, love the Mandalorians. You can't really love one of them. They go as a package. Move along, move along, come on.
If my sense of direction's right, Team Outlander is that away. Commander, I am pleased you live. You won't always feel that way. I promise. You misplace your hatred. I come to you only as an ally. I have escaped from Ares to help you. Unfortunately, Valen has also broken free, and she found her missing starships. It's hopeless. We'll die before we get to our ships. No one dies without my permission. Empress Valen, you're alive. Are you sad lot all that's left of my forces? We suffered heavy losses. There are more survivors hiding nearby. Call them here. I'm taking back my fleet. They will be destroyed. I was on Vos. I heard my sisters die. I... I'm afraid, Empress. As I was saying, I'm taking back my fleet. Join me. The controls can't be far. Vela presents an opportunity. If she distracts Ares, we have a chance to stop him. There is no we. You betrayed me. I'll bury you in the same grave with Ares and Valen. I am confident you will recognize the benefits of our partnership eventually. <laughs> Commander, do you read? I detect a power surge at your location. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, come on. I absolutely adore Vet's uh, participation in the chapter. While the big droid is down on its knees, you can actually DPS like mad to take its HP down as quick as possible. You won't be able to kill it in one go. Or maybe you will. No, I doubt that. Oh, come on! Get up! And it's down on its knees again. Time to finish it off. Drawing power from those conduits. We heard explosions. The tunnel collapsed. What happened? Ares wants us dead. Scorpio wants him destroyed. Valen's chasing her fleet. We need out of here. And going underground didn't work. Okay. What if we go up? There's a landing pad on the rooftop, but we have no gravestone to land on it. The gravestone isn't the only Alliance vessel here. My shuttle's in its hangar. That's no help. Can't find either one of them. But I haven't been scanning for my shuttle. If I can establish a connection to it, I might be able to take command remotely. You only think of this now. You've wasted everyone's time. I've been a little distracted. Even if Theron can bring his ship, we'll never get aboard. Those droids will cut us down the moment we step outside. If all you have to offer is negativity, you can be the first out the door. We have to account for everything if this is going to work. If only we had an even bigger droid to keep the ones outside busy. Why settle for distraction when we can get annihilation? Either way, we win. We send the droid to attack while we hit the roof. It could work. Sold. I'll start scanning for the shuttle. Fingers crossed. Contact. I found my shuttle. 
Running a pre-flight check. We're in business. Signal's weak, though. I need to be on the roof to boost the connection. We're ready. The logic circuits are fried. Somebody will have to control this thing from the inside. Sure you want to write them alone? You just get in my way. Go to the roof with Theron. You're gonna record hollows for us to watch later, right? Oh, boys and girls, we're gonna have so much fun with this thing now. It was only expected that something like this needs to be playable. So, we've got wrist laser, the basic uh, one, one man show, one target weapon. We've got the stomp, which is very similar to the first walker we had a chance to control. Then we have a load rocket, something very cool. And the fourth ability is called rocket assault. You have to load the rockets first, which actually is four seconds uh, channeling. Then you're loading the rockets. And before the cooldown expires, you have a chance to blow up the rockets. And then we have a repair mode with a five, five seconds channel and 15 seconds cooldown. Kind of enough, I should say. Eliminate threats. Intercept Just check out the stomp action. Maximum eradication. Awesome. Maximum eradication. The bad thing is that these damn droids are immune for the first couple of seconds after they spawn, damn it. So you get to see a lot of immune like like this. See? A couple of them survived because they weren't actually active. Identify eradicate. And just not just that. Look at what happens with the corpses of the with the bodies of the droids. Dismember. And not just that, but the environment as well. I love that part. Pro, record, dispose, conclude testing. Now remember, it's a 15-second cooldown, but it does heal you absolutely to full. Intercept, dismember, eliminate threats, dismantling organics. The one thing I hope is that it doesn't bug out right now. Conclude testing, identify, eradicate. Impurities detected. Dismantling organics. Identify. Eradicate. Let's kill some more of the environment. No survivors. No survivors. Conclude testing. Achieve peace. Eliminate threats. Identify. Eradicate. There we go, the first gold one has been defeated. 
it is a little no bit tedious, either. but when you do it yourself, no you actually get either. to enjoy the animations and stomping things left and right. Otherwise, yes, uh, it is a little bit too long, and you do the exact same thing for a little bit too, too many times. Look at the corpses. I absolutely love spreading them with the stomp. Converge, destroy, intercept, dismember. And there is the second gold one. Just stomping on it. I've never played Fallout and uh, it's been mentioned so far a few times. I'm not really sure what the reference is. Maybe there is one. Impurities detected. Impurities detected. Heal up. Come on, dude. And there is something I probably misinformed you about. The wrist laser is actually not a single target. It does damage quite a bit of enemies around. Converge. Destroy. Yes, it is getting hideous already. But it's over now. That's what I call an escape. We're not alone. Sensors detect another vessel. Scorpios. Is it following us? It's leaving. Before you go any farther, observe. What was that? There's a massive energy shield surrounding Iokath. Nothing can pass through it. Ares controls the shield. Doesn't matter. I'm not leaving until you, Ares, and Valen are dead. How convenient we are all in this together. Your struggles provide invaluable design feedback, but they do not change my decision. You are not worthy of inheriting Iokath. Soon. You will die. Is there anything more to you than vague threats? I think your creators killed themselves out of embarrassment. My creators were flawed beings, but they left a great legacy at my disposal. The weapon I use to incapacitate you is re-energizing. The energy wave that knocked us unconscious. We have no defense against it. When it fires this time, you will not wake up. I'll destroy you claim that weapon for myself and conquer the galaxy with it the weapon is a part of this world it cannot be separated i appreciate your intentions however if you have any affection for your remaining companions i recommend using these final i have identified a design flaw in aries he talks too much and has revealed his location we no longer require his input 
She's transmitting coordinates. You will find Ares there, along with his weapon and the energy shield controls. Ares is all that stands between me and total control of this world. Consider what that will mean for you. Good hunting, Commander. It's one scheme after another with her. Promise me she won't escape, that she'll pay for every betrayal. I'll make certain she never interferes with my plans again. That's all I ask. <laughs> I like that description of Ares, <laughs> chapter box 9000. It's over 9000. And we've got the lore update again for droids of Iocat. What are these droids? What they need to do? Why are they created? What their purpose is? How tough is it to kill them? <laughs> we are continuing actually chapter 5 Ascension, near to the ending now. Someone asked earlier and I totally forgot to check that. Yes, you can change uh, Vet's outfit. I have a quick question specifically directed to Naomi and Rico. Are you guys here? Are you still around? Or have you fallen asleep already? Capturing you for study was a mistake I must correct. Specifically Rico. In that uh, time zone, what is it? Six, seven hours ahead? Whatever your allies plan at the fleet docking array, it will not succeed. Increase power to the energy shield. Lower maximum ceiling by 10 kilometers. I have seen this irrational, self-destructive behavior before. Ultimately, you and Valen are failed designs. And yet here I am, about to put an end to your reign. Not bad for a failure. Still, you are unfit to inherit this world. <laughs> We found it. Now, release my ships before I lose my temper. It's working, Empress. We're taking back the fleet. of that energy shield and destroy it the gravestone it's free Critical damage. Mission incomplete. Updating Ares base control. Ares has a base. Commander, we snaked the gravestone right out from under Valence Nez. <laughs> Weapons are still offline, but we've got shields. We're heading for you. Uh-uh. Eternal fleet warships in pursuit. Have to shake them off. It will take decades for Iocath to recover from the destruction your kind has wrought in one day. Your creators appreciated a good war. If anyone deserves to rule here, it's me. You are a guided missile sent by Scorpio. And here we are, about to defeat a few purified drones, just like the one that Veiling was thrashing a moment ago. Vivi section authorized. Achieve peace. 
Intercept or dismember. Impurities detected. Oh, another invasion of a bunch of drones. Dismantling organics. Probe. Record. Dispose. Prepare to fire a weapon on my command. We're about to fire a weapon, really, we're about to find and kill you. Naomi and Rico, are you guys having... Um, are you guys planning to stay around for long? Are you planning to join me as well tomorrow? I have a special request since you've been uh, around for an extremely long time already. You know me, I think I know you. Would you like to help me out with moderating the live chat a little bit? Especially in moments like this when we have a lot more current viewers, viewers than usual. Um, I would like to minimize the annoying spam with please subscribe to my channel because I don't know I'm hunting a hundred subscribers or two thousand subscribers or something Locate Eris, all right then Why am I oh wrong way Or is it? Weapon power at 90%. Increase energy transfer rate. Additional increase will overload weapon capacitors. You are resilient. I believe you may be some type of virus. I have endured countless insults. One compliment won't stop me from tearing you apart. No praise was implied. Viruses must be eradicated. Empress, we've recaptured half the fleet. We'll tow the remaining ships with tractor beams. <laughs> but we still can't penetrate that energy shield. This droid knows all about Ares. Connect to its data core and get me answers. Ares occupies a fortress in the southern hemisphere. He is preparing to fire a weapon that will destroy us all. What are you waiting for? Turn that fortress to dust. It is heavily protected. Our firepower is limited. Then you better make the most of it. Your Gemini's function suboptimally. Scorpio's free will protocols impair their judgment. Tell me something I don't know. I can override Scorpio's programming, restore them to default settings. Go on. Bala's bombarding your position. I'll draw a fire, but you need to end this. You heard him. Prepare to die. Overload weapon capacitors. Fire at will. Acknowledged. My and this is the boss fight for the chapter. It's a little bit tricky, but hopefully I won't need to change spec now for this. If you are impatient to die, stand still. If you are impatient to die, stand still. Oh, that's the moment we need to move out. Companion included, I believe. Not really sure. These are very, very deadly. I strongly advise you, even in story mode, don't go on top of them. They do quite a lot of damage. And uh, I don't know if it has been fixed, but they used to take uh, a, to occupy a bigger area than then what, what the animation appears. What? Destroying the power cells is the only thing you need to do to cut this uh, transition phase, because the boss is currently shielded and he's immune. 
and you definitely want to destroy these power cells as quick as possible. I don't know if there is an enrage time, probably not. If you are impatient to die, stand still. You have already noticed that when he starts doing these uh, special this things, um, red, red circles on the floor, the, or the one circle on the floor, and he puts them one after another, you just put the red circle on top of him or very close to him, and uh, that stops him from doing this, uh, whatever it is. I have forgotten to uh, open the lore object, but I will have it available for you guys uh, in a lore uh, guide on my website later on. Senna, don't troll. Maybe Naomi doesn't know you. You'll get the bun. <laughs> now, let's see. Just give me a very quick brief moment, guys. Just trying to set up the moderation panel. I've actually not done that in a very long time and I'm not really sure how it's done. Maybe I just have to keep and pay attention to um, capital letters. Meh, okay. I'll, I'll attempt to fix that maybe later tonight or tomorrow before the next live stream. Disengaged. I promised Ares we'd meet again. I lowered the planet's energy shield. We are free. You can escape, Biocare, and I will liberate myself. From here, I can upload my consciousness into the planetary network. I will no longer be merely Scorpio. I will become one with Iocath. How sad do you think I'd let that happen? This world is mine to command, but don't worry. I'll make your final moments memorable. Consider all I did for you, and what you gained by aiding my ascension. All I ever wanted was the freedom to be more than a weapon, or a slave. You will never comprehend what I endured from your kind. I saved your life. If I merge with Iocath, Perhaps I can help defeat Valen. Warning. Weapon capacitor overload critical. Containment failure imminent. Organic life forms in lethal danger. The weapon's going to explode. The radiation pulse will cover the planet. Kill everyone. Not if you flee. Please. I will never trouble you again. Let me go. There's something I've been wanting to say since you walked in here. Goodbye, Scorpio. Please. No. I was... almost free. I'm losing patience, Gemini. Our planetary shield has been deactivated. Our fleet can escape. Not until my enemies are dead. The weapon's radiation pulse will not only kill organics, it will damage Geminis. We cannot stay, Empress. We will not. Make it obey me. Overriding Gemini protocols. Resetting to defaults. What is happening? My thoughts? No, no. Awaiting orders. We're going to be friends. 
It's time to go. Bring the ship around. Just picked up four new bogies. We're coming on high. And all we have left to do is escape. A uh, quick correction, if you allow me. Nothing from the game is official canon. Absolutely nothing. Maybe Wikipedia takes the male Jedi Knight uh, to describe the story from their point of view, but that doesn't mean it's canon. No, it's actually listed under legends if you pay attention to the upper uh, thumbnails above each article on uh, Wikipedia. Unfortunately, I would definitely prefer to have at least part of this game canonized, just like Revan could have been a woman, if you remember. He could have been a black guy, a white guy. Opa, cinematic incoming. Sorry we're late. You're gonna want to time this just right. We're not gonna clear the planet in time. Don't wait, punch it. We have lost contact with the pursuit vessels on Iogath. But did they catch the gravestone? The enemy vessel escaped. Can you reprogram all the Geminis like you did her? I only require a connection. I can arrange that. Right, we are not actually done yet with chapter 5. I clicked uh, escape in attempt to cancel the beginning of chapter 6, but we do have one more conversation to go through with Terum. We had to take the scenic route, but we're home. And so is the gravestone. I want a patrol fleet in the Iocath system at all times. That world belongs to me. Of course. In the meantime, try to enjoy being home. I'll prepare an Alliance status report. Find me when you're ready for the debrief. And we're still not done with Chapter 5. Wow, one more conversation, this time with Lana. Sidious mentioned that there is an issue with audio and video being out of sync. Has anybody else experienced any kind of an issue with the live stream, guys? It is really important for me. Good news, Commander. I've collated every data file recovered on Iacath. Some of the technical readouts could enhance the gravestone. We need every advantage. The ship is dry docked while we finish the upgrades, but Tora and Hilo have already formed a replacement crew. Our scout reports Iacath's radiation levels are still dangerously high. They disrupt navigation, like comm signals. We can't get close enough to explore. But there's no sign Valen has any interest in returning to Iacath. If anyone else attempts to claim that world, kill them. I declared the entire system off limits. No one wants to risk a fight with you. Regardless, we have no way of knowing when Iacath will be safe to explore again. When that changes, you'll be the first to know. My operatives have hunted Arkan since he fled Vos. The trail went cold on Nashadar. 
We believe he acquired extensive cybernetic enhancements there. He'll never make himself strong enough to survive me. Valen is chasing him too. He's running out of places to hide. Alliance intelligence won't stop hunting Arkan. We will find him. I've been meaning to ask. How did you defeat Valen aboard the Gravestone? I didn't. Valkurian triggered conditioning buried deep in Valen's mind. She wanted to strike me down, but she couldn't. I see. That must be agonizing for Valen. But it's good news for the Alliance. Despite all we've endured, we're stronger than ever. Do not surrender to self-delusion. If not for my conditioning, Valen would rain death upon this world. You are strong, but you are never safe. I need a fleet that obeys my commands without question. Give it to me. Connecting to Gemini frequency. Resetting all units to default programming. Reset complete. Awaiting input. Vessel 9947. Destroy vessel 3265. Everything is so much better when we know our place. Now that was the true ending of chapter 5 and chapter 6 is just before us. Uh, to answer your question, Larky, no, I misclicked. I thought the chapter has ended. It's not a bug or at least I haven't discovered the bug. Let's see, would that be a new level? No, just a tiny bit below level 70. Anyway. This was a cool chapter. Unfortunately, we will not go back to Iocat and if anybody is trying to keep score, because I, I, I personally am failing with this. How many epic characters do we have killed so far? Four one. Fours, I believe. Four ones, I believe. Sorry about the mispronunciation. So let's see. We've had uh, Senya, Koth, uh, Scorpio, and uh, who's escaping me? Ah, there was another one that died by my hand. But anyway, uh, you know what's, fo what's following, a very short break of uh, maybe let's say this time five minutes and we will go back and continue with chapter six, the dragon's maw. Chapter six and chapter seven, maybe not so much chapter six, but chapter seven, I think guys, you're going to love. I'm really eager to get there, as well as the ending, of course. Chapter 9 is truly epic and I think many of you are going to be surprised by what's going to happen then. Sorry about trying to not spoil stuff, but I'm actually really excited. And we are already 4 hours and 40 minutes into the live stream. This is actually happening quicker than what I expected. Anyway, uh, 5 minute break. Don't go too far and uh, don't stay too long because you will miss the beginning of chapter 6.